Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dean in It Yourself. Today's video is going to be a pretty cool one. I got an old iMac here I picked up from my brother-in-law. Uh, the hard drive doesn't seem to be working, so in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade it to the max. I got a kit here from OWC. I'll leave a link in the description for all the parts that I use. I'm going to upgrade the memory and the hard drive and max it out. And I'll have this thing running like as if it's a 2020 iMac. You guys have one of these old iMacs, you definitely can upgrade it. Don't throw them away, they're pretty good machines. So stay tuned to the video and I'll show you how to do it. All you guys are gonna need are some simple tools and I'll show you guys how you guys can tackle this one yourself. It shouldn't take, it shouldn't take too long and I'll walk you through it step by step. Stay tuned. Before we begin guys, let's make sure we unplug our iMac from the wall. The screen on these are held in place only by magnets that are around the side. So if you guys have uh, suction cups like these, you can use them to lift the screen off. You simply place one in this corner and one in this corner and tilt and the screen comes off. Simple as that. Now you can set the screen aside. The screen inside here are held by four screws on this side and four screws on this side. Um, can remove the screws using T10 bit here. I'll leave a link in the description again where you guys can purchase this. We may want to use a pair of tweezers as well because the magnets, when we try to remove the screws, sometimes they'll be magnetized and get sucked back in. So we can hold, them, hold on to the screws with the you can hold on to the screws with the tweezers to help us pull them out. Now we can go ahead and remove the screws from this side. Once the screws are removed, there are two tabs here. We can just peel back and then we'll be able to separate the screen. You can use a pry tool to get on the edge of the screen and the screen just tilts forward. Once you tilt the screen forward, you're gonna find two cables on the left side of the screen, one in the upper side right here. You just pull up on it to remove it. And there's another cable towards the middle of the screen on the left side. Um, once you tilt the screen forward a little bit more, you'll be able to see it. You just pull down on, press in on the tab and pull down on this cable to release it. Likewise, on the right side of the screen, there are two more cables, one in the middle, which we can remove here. You see it has a little lever, you just pull down on it and remove it. Also further down on the right side, there's another one, you just pull it out and that's it. With those two cables removed, we can now tilt the screen forward, being very gentle, it's a lot heavier than it looks, and just lift up on the screen and you'll be able to remove it from the iMac completely. Once you remove it, just set it aside somewhere safe and out of the way so we can continue working on the iMac. With our screen removed, we're now able to see the hard drive. Um, the hard drive is held in place by two screws on the top and two pegs on the bottom that are just inserted to hold it in. Once we remove these screws, we'll be able to tilt out the hard drive and just remove it. All right guys, now is where the fun begins. We can start by loosening the two screws that are used to hold the hard drive in place. Once we've loosened these two screws, we just tilt the hard drive out. Um, there are cables that are holding the hard drive which are connected to it for the, the data cables. All you need to do is pull these cables and disconnect them and the hard drive removal is complete. Since we're going to be replacing the hard drive with a small solid state hard drive, um, what we're going to need is we're going to need an adapter. This kit comes with a hard drive and an adapter. What basically happens is that the hard drive, we're going to have to take off the, um, the studs and the plates off the hard drive and mount them onto this um, adapter. Um, and it has screw holes for the adapter. Once we remove the screws from the existing hard drive, we're gonna transfer them 
over to the adapter so that the adapter will fit in place and have the same form factor as the original hard drive. One of the reasons why we wanted this OWC kit is because it comes with this thermal sensor that prevents it, the iMac from overheating and it monitors the temperature of the hard drive. This is important because without this, the fan is going to run at full speed. Once we have this thermal sensor uh, connected, all we need to do is mount the hard drive into the adapter and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place a thermal sensor on the hard drive. It's held in place by sticky tape. And once we put the sticky tape on, then we're ready to pretty much mount the um, adapter in the case. So all we need to do now is tuck all the wires behind, tuck them away and um, connect all our data cables. They're going to be in the same orientation as the original hard drive. So you just connect them back. They only go in one way. Um, once we have them connected, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that it's seated properly and then fasten the two screws holding the hard drive in place. All right, now that we're done, we connect everything in reverse order. We can put back our screen and connect our cables in the back. And then we're going to um, fasten the screen to the case by using the screws four on each side. Uh, what I like to do is clean the screen just to make sure there's no lint that's going to get trapped behind the screen. And then we're going to put the outer screen back on and it's going to snap in place with the magnets and we're done. All right, guys, the next upgrade is going to be the memory. Here I have two 16 gig uh, memory modules from AOTech. In order to install the memory, we're going to have to first lay the iMac on a flat surface. The memory is located on the bottom side of the monitor. If you tilt the monitor up, there'll be three screws um, that you need to remove. And once you remove these screws, you're going to have access to the memory. In order to access the memory, there are two tabs. All you need to do is pull on these tabs and the memory sticks will eject. Once they're out partially, you just pull them out and set them aside. And to install the new ones, you just install them in reverse. Put the memory module in on one side and tuck away the, the tab and do the same thing on the opposite side and then tuck away the tab as well. Once you've done with that, you can put the cover back on, put your three screws back in place, and you're done with the memory upgrade in your iMac. And pretty much we're all complete. The thing, only thing left to do now is give the screen a good cleaning. And once your screen is clean, you can plug back in your iMac, start it up, and you're good to go. Guys, thanks again for so much for watching. I hope this was informative, and I hope this inspired you to upgrade your iMac. If you have one lying around, don't be shy. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and I hope I catch you in the next video.